All right. I think some of you guys will remember this map. This is the 80% map, uh, scale map. Well, it's actually a few of them, but primarily it's for the Adriatic and the Ionian Sea. So I could, t it was way back when I could take a look at what was going on with Albania and, and Serbia and whatnot and pop, pop in the, um, the front between the Serbians and the Austro-Hungarians. I think this is around November time. It's basically what I'm going to be using anyways come January 1915. And from what I know, I'm still trying to figure this one out here. This is uh, supposedly there was French s supplies being sent um, uh, from Salonika or as early as that, but I've only seen that once. I can't find the the reference anymore, and the other sources I'm looking at don't mention it, so I don't know what's going on here. So I'm gonna have to find that one out because this is pretty darn important for me. Um, here I do know that the Greeks um, at, at this point in November 1914, from what I know, have. Um, gone into southern Albania, which I think is called Northern Epirus. Might be wrong, but it's been a while since I've, uh, this is just like I'm going back from memory kind of thing. Um, and I also know that the Italians have landed a force in Valona at this point by now. And it's under the guise of saying that, I, I'm sure it's because they're scared to death the Greeks are going to, you know, just keep on marching. Um, oh, no, we're here to, you know, um, ensure the neutrality of Albania and whatnot. I, and this is a quagmire as far as I know, I don't know what in the world's going on. I know that at this point in 1915, um, this has been taken over, back, it's been gone back and forth. The Austro-Hungarians, I think, had it for a little while, and then um, um, uh, the Albanians uh, were bombarding it for a while, and they got driven back for, anyways, it's a long, like, I need to learn a lot more. What it's coming down to is this, uh, there's a possibility, um, remember I'm trying to do all the big strategies for everybody right now, so for the Brits, and sure, there's a lot of people saying right now, um, uh, guys, uh, just to let you know, there's a lot of intelligence going on, intelligence reports going on, that the Ottomans are, um, you know, doing some funky things in um, Mesotam Mesopotamia and... Um, Palestine area, and they just signed the freaking non-aggression pact with Russia, so it's pretty obvious they're either going to towards the Balkans or they're, you know, going towards there. And we just told you there's some funny things going on. So, but I'm not sh so sure. I remember I, I can't name a new staging area in t for two more months or something like that. So even though I wanted to have that second staging area on Cyprus and go towards Tripoli, um, you know what? This was my original thing. I wanted to get to Valona, and basically, I'm starting to go this, uh, starting to think this way again, and putting some British troops. Look, what it gets down to is this: is I'm trying to also tie it in historically from what I've been uh, hearing about. Is the Brits are biting at the bit to um, do their own thing, kind of thing, and they know that the Western Front at this point in time. I mean, they got barely anybody up there, anyways. At this at this point. Um, like they're running out of the original BEF or whatever, and that's you know about the vanish, just from you know the battles that they've been taking. Um, the French are calling the shots for obvious reasons up there, so they want to do their own thing. I guess that was part of the you know the pressure for Russia off Russia and whatnot. You get it, the whole Gallipoli thing, and so on and so forth. Anyway, so they want to do their own thing. That's why we've got the Palestine thing going on there on uh, Epiphany and so on and so forth, the drive towards Gaza. That's probably still going to go through, but it may not be going through the way, um, if these guys get their way, which was, it would be much more of a, just a holding force towards the Suez. We'll see what happens with that, because the Ottomans are still going forward with theirs. It's just that theirs won't be in action until a little bit after uh, the Epiphany uh, offensive would have been occurring. For the Brits, I don't know if that's still gonna happen. It just may just, like I said, be a defensive thing. Anyways, I don't know what it is about me with the British, uh, with this game, and I guess it's because of the Navy uh, and whatnot. I just see them, they're freaking everywhere, man, uh, on, on the maps. And I'm like, you know what, enough's enough. Like, wave the big naval stick. I've had enough. And especially when I hear about this, uh, the things that's going on in Greece and everything, like, you know, historically, where there was, like, basically, they just, it was like, well, we're doing it regardless. So I'm basically, I'm going to see what's going to happen. It's probably going to cause a, uh, some ruffling of feathers, but tough bananas. Um, I'm going to see. Uh, uh, there's going to be some serious talk about coming into here. 
I'm going to say this. I've had enough, like I've said before. Uh, all these little piddly little uh, neutral type countries that uh, think they can just like start whining every five seconds about, oh, by the way, we're just going to join the other side if you start doing stuff. Yeah? Okay. We're going to wave my big naval stick and see how freaking fast uh, uh, you shut the hell up is basically it. So uh, I know that uh, Italy is heavily reliant on um, imports uh, by Great Britain. Okay? They're, they know there's no effing way they're going to go up Navy against Navy, that type of stuff. So basically, I'm just going to say to Italy, which is a.k.a. Charles Latora, get the hell out of here. Out of here. We're landing forces here, and I'm traveling my Brits up towards here, and we're going to go take on the, um, the Austro-Hungarians that way. You got a problem with that? Talk to my freaking battleship. That's basically what I'm going to say to them. Same as the Greeks. You stay where you are. We won't do anything with you here. We're not going down south or whatever. Stay there. Stay. And like I said, I have to figure out what's going on with the eye. And we don't even have to go up towards the uh, Adriatic Sea, which is technically uh, against their Valkyrie rules. But tough. I would have went, went with them anyways if it would have made sense uh, with history or historicity, I guess is what they say. Uh, like, I don't know if it's been mined from here to tomorrow. But then if the Italians got here, you don't think the freaking British can't? So anyway, so we'll see what happens. But then on the other flips, yeah, and there's the other big giant whatever's for me, which is, um, you know, there's also that other side note, which is the Greek, uh, Greeks, the, um, the Germans want to send a ton of freaking submarines um, into the Mediterranean to try to cut off the British supply that way. Uh, but that's one of the plans, the winter plan A, is, uh, well, no, it would still be the German uh, master strategy, actually. It's just how they're going to go about it. But their master strategy, basically, is to cut, cut off supp British supply to Europe. That's what they're trying to do. Um, uh, and then focus on the French. You know, it was the other way around. Lots of people, uh, lots of them went, okay, focus on the French, and then we can, uh, foc uh, we'll deal with the, the big problem, which is Great Britain. I'm going the other way. Um, I'm like, okay, cut these guys off, uh, cut the great, uh, cut great Britain off to Europe, and then we can, um, we'll deal with France. That's, we'll see what happens. Um, that's it. So I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I love it. There's just so much more stuff to uh, to figure out. But uh, we'll see if there's uh, some kind of feasibility for this. But uh, maybe all the Anzac troops that are, you know, are uh, training right now in Egypt are going to be sent up towards uh, uh, the Balkans. Uh, that's would be interesting. I would like this. You know, it'd be neat to have like a third whatever front going on here. I wanted to do this uh, originally, anyways. And boy, wouldn't this? I don't know what's going to happen. Also, uh, I don't know his name. Uh, uh, he's a king in Albania, but prince everywhere else or something. Uh, who's now? I'm, I guess he after the he took got the hell out of here. There, who's uh, you know being represented by uh, Meandering Mike? I think he went off to Italy for a little while. Wasn't having the greatest time and ended up in Germany. He ended up fighting on the front lines for crying out loud. So, you know, I don't know how Meandering Mike as Albania is going to deal with this, but um, it's not on the cards yet. But I don't even I don't even know if I'm going to deal talking with him. Um, due to the fact that uh, he's so pro-German, so screw you, basically. Um, that's the way I'm looking at it. So, um, yeah, I'll send out a little thing to Charles the Tora as Italy pretty soon, as in, just to let you know, um, we're thinking about uh, popping on over here. Um, uh, shoot, I don't even, well, I guess, yeah, I would still need another staging area as far as I'm concerned. Um, that's got nothing to do with that. It's not my port. It uh, doesn't mean I'm going to be attacked when I get there, but I still need a staging area. So that would still be two months past what I want. So that would be January, February, March. Probably not till March. Um, uh, March 1915. And by then, I think the um, the offensive uh, for the Ottomans towards uh, the Suez Canal would have started. By then, I'm not sure. I have to take a look. Which means this can throw this in a wonks, but we'll see. But this, I mean, I don't... But this just looks like so much more troops it can bring across. But then I don't, you know, like I said, I don't, I gotta figure out all this, the quagmire of whatever. I think the Albanian front in Der Velkrieg is much later in the, in, in, in the war, where it's like, you know, being represented by Italians and Austro-Hungarians already in here. I'm not sure, but anyways, that's it. I'll let it at that. Loving it. See ya. Hope you're having a good time.